Hi, Odyssey fans. I'm Bob, senior editor with Plugged In. And I'm Jesse, editor of Focus on the Family Clubhouse magazine. Welcome to the official Adventures in Odyssey podcast. Today's a big day for us because That's we right. finally get to tell the fans about the ACTS contest and what it's all about. You know, we've had that countdown on our website for months now, and today is the day. We're ready to tell everyone about this great chance for them to serve and win big. So what is ACTS? Well, believe it or not, there are actually two ACTS to this ACTS contest. That's right. Act one is serve. Serve your family, your community, and your world. And why are you serving? Well, to answer that, we're going to hear from a familiar face, Evan Riedel. Evan, tell us what a call to serve means. A call to serve is something found throughout the Bible. A call means a command or a request. In Galatians 5.13 and 1 Peter 4.10 and other verses talk about serving one another. Will you accept the call? What will your call to serve be? No matter how small or big your service may seem to you, it's big to God. So live it out, because when you serve others, everyone wins. Okay, so service is important, and it's something that we're all called to do. Mm -hmm. But how do kids serve? It's a good question, Jess. Let's hear from a few kids who came up with their own ways to serve. Hi, I'm Morgan, and me and my sister are doing a project called Africans for Americans. We just really wanted to help kids in Ghana, Africa specifically, because we saw that there was um, a great need in that area. So we start by collecting crayons from 12 elementary schools in our district. After that, we bring the crayons home and we peel them. And after that, we sort them into their different colors. And then we melt them down into new crayons, really colorful, pretty, new crayons that kids love and we sell them and 50% of our proceeds go to orphanages in Ghana, Africa that um, need the money for our supplies and everyday needs that they have. So I'm Kayla and I'm here for the Life Network Family and Pregnancy Center and we are giving them blankets for their babies because they don't have enough time to get their own blankets and diapers and food and stuff like that. So we took time to tie and cut the fabric for the blankets. So other mission projects that we've done over the past is we've made homeless shelter bags and we've put food and drinks in them and then all the girls take some home and when they're driving by and they see a homeless person, they just give them the bag. And we've also gone to several nursing homes and sang carols to them for Christmas. And just seeing that brought joy to them was fun. Hi, I'm Matthew and I create iPhone apps. I first started in 2010 because I wanted to create apps in order to help people learn about God and also help people I know to be able to use their ministry and get it to a wider audience. I definitely have had a lot of learning with perseverance in my iPhone apps as it takes a lot of work to create them and then once you submit them there's always some fine tuning. I would tell people looking for a way to serve God that they can find where God has given them gifts because my gifts, I'd always been interested in technology. First it was vacuums, and I loved vacuums, and I moved to other sources, and eventually God led me to apps and websites where I'm able to use my gifts with technology and be able to minister. But God has given you gifts too, so look right where He is giving you gifts, and there will be an opportunity, and He will provide a way that you can bless others and help others through your gifts. That's inspiring. You know, there are a lot of different ways to serve. In fact, if you ask God, I'm pretty sure he has one that's just right for you. And you can keep track of your hours by printing off a sheet from our website. Mm -hmm. You can pick up one of these at a local Christian bookstore as well, or you can use this poster in the June issue of Clubhouse Magazine. Nice poster. Yeah. Okay, so after you've served, how do you win the contest? Well, that's all part of Act Two, Share Your Story. Go to a local Christian bookstore and record a two-minute video of yourself answering two questions. First, how do you serve your family? 
your community, and your world. And why would you be an awesome Adventures in Odyssey ambassador? You might need a few tips on how you can make a great video. For those, let's hear from another familiar face, Odyssey writer-director Nathan Hubler. We've heard and seen a lot of auditions for Adventures in Odyssey, and let me give you a few tips that'll help your audition stand out from among all the rest. One of them is to be excited. If you're excited in your audition, that excitement will transfer to us as we're watching your audition. Even, even smiling can help a lot in your excitement. The second is to find a conflict in your audition. Um, we often talk about Adventures in Odyssey stories in terms of conflict. A character wants this, but this. Something's getting in their way. So even though you're telling a true story, there's probably a conflict in there somewhere. So think about that and how you solve that conflict with your act of service. And finally, practice. Practice a lot. So by the time that you're getting on camera, you're very polished and poised and you're not stumbling trying to figure out what your story is. So hopefully with those three tips, your audition's gonna really stand out. Okay, so the kids put their video together talking about how they served. Uh, mm -hmm. The website said they can win big. So what will they win, Bob? <laughs> well, we've got a lot of prizes this time around. A hundred boys and girls will get a free copy of Album 57, A Call to Something More. That's right. And 12 boys and girls will receive a call from our host, Chris Anthony. Hi, Kelsey. This is Chris. Congratulations on being a winner in the Axe Contest. So what are you up to today? And for the grand prize, we'll have two winners, one boy and one girl. They'll be featured in Album 58, be an official ambassador for Odyssey, and the biggest prize of all, they'll win an all-expense-paid mission adventure trip. To where? Well, Jess, uh, we can't give away all of our secrets just yet. To find out where this trip will be, tune into a special live webcast on May 22nd on witsend.org. Not only will we reveal the grand prize destination, we'll also get to chat with Katie Lee and Chris Anthony live. That's right. You know, they'll be answering questions from our fans, so submit yours now on our website. Mm -hmm. That webcast is Wednesday, May 22nd at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, 4.30 Central, 3.30 Mountain, 2.30 Pacific. That's right. You can find out more about the webcast and the ACTS contest on our website, witsend.org slash ACTS. This sounds like a great contest, Bob. Even bigger than getting the show. It's fun that kids can win, but it's even more exciting when you think about the math of this contest. And to hear about that, let's go to a familiar face, Dr. Brock Lee. Doc Brock, tell us about the mathematics behind service. Thanks, Bob. And think about this, Bob and Jesse. If we could get 12 hours, okay, 12 hours of service for each of our kids, and if we could have 4,200 kids, that's right, 4,200 kids and 12 hours would give us an amazing 50,400 hours. Bob and Jesse, that's 50,000 hours of service. That is awesome, just thinking about all the service going on around the world this summer. Yeah. Well, that's all for this edition of the official Adventures in Odyssey podcast, a presentation to focus on the family. Be sure to visit us online at witsend.org slash acts. I'm Bob. And I'm Jesse, reminding you that with God in your life, every day is an adventure. That webcast is Wednesday, May 22nd at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 Central, 3.30 Mountain, 2.30 Pacific, and in the Hawaiian Islands, oh wait. That'd be, uh, a, I think that'd be 11.30, Bob. So, to find out more, 